Example 1.4 HP borrowed money to do rapid prototyping for a new ruggedized computer that targets desert oil field conditions. The loan is $1 million for three years at 5% per year simple interest. How much money will HP repay at the end of three years? Tabulate the results in $1,000 units. Okay, so first of all here, um, it's just saying that to tabulate it in $1,000 units uh, for simplicity purposes. So here they're talking about millions, but one million will be equal to 1,000. So basically we're just scratching out three zeros for simplicity purposes. Okay, so same thing, we must identify what we have. We have a loan for one million, so if that's the loan, then it means that it must be the principal. Okay, so said it's one million, but we're gonna put in one thousands. Then it says that the loan was for three years. So three and years over here. So that would be our number of periods. The number of periods equals two, three years. Then we also know that it's going to be at 5% per year and that this is going to be, well let me leave this one as uh, black, that this is going to be simple interest. So I'm going to put this in a different color just to differentiate it. Okay, so we know here that the interest rate, oh, make it black, that the interest rate is 5% per year simple. Okay. So now we have this table right here. Uh, end of year, we have three years here but we always start from year zero. So year zero, year one, year two, and year three. Because this way we're gonna have our three complete years. So from zero to one, it's one year, one to two, the second year, and two to three, it's the complete cycle for the third year. Okay, so first of all it says, it's telling you that the uh, HP borrowed money. Okay, so HP borrowed money at time zero. So, at time zero, that's when the borrowing happened. Now, in year zero, one, when you uh, borrow the money, you're not um, accruing any interest until the year has passed. So, no interest was accumulated in year zero they continue to owe the same amount that was borrowed and they have they don't need to pay anything because in the problem it says that uh, HP will repay at the end of three years that's in the question okay so no payment yet when year one uh, ends okay so end of year one so it's a one year has passed nobody borrowed money here so the money was only borrowed once at the very beginning so no borrowing of money but now we're gonna start accruing interest if you go back to your notes okay for simple interest it says that it is always based on the original amount or the principal okay so your interest right here and I'm gonna put it as a note must be calculated on the principal okay, or the amount borrowed. So this is a note for the interest. 
So that means that whatever interest you have here, it's going to be calculated over those $1,000. Okay, so let's go uh, back to the formula. So the interest per period, in this case, it's going to be the interest per year. That's our period. It's going to be equal to the principal times the interest rate. Okay, so we're going to write here interest. per year, it's the principal or the original amount times the interest rate, okay, which is going to be equal to 1,000 times 5%, which is 0 0.05. And this will give us a total of fifty dollars okay so these fifty dollars are gonna go in the interest column so now how much is owed how much are you owed what you previously owed last year plus any interest accumulated so it's gonna be a total of one thousand from last year plus the fifty of the interest and no need to pay anything yet. Now we go to year two. No borrowing here. We are accumulating more interest, but remember that the interest continues to be calculated over the same amount. So we do not need to rewrite the formula that we have. It's still the principal, the 1,000 times the interest rate so we continue to have a fifty dollar uh, calculation of the interest so now how much do they owe they owed one thousand fifty plus the fifty that they are accumulating this year making it one thousand one hundred and no payment is needed yet okay now one year passes by and we are at the end of the third year they're not borrowing anything same scenario so the interest continues to be calculated over the amount that was borrowed okay so we have another fifty dollars here they owe now the one thousand one hundred from last year plus fifty more 1,150 and now they must pay this amount the 1,150 okay. so this is how much they will end up paying at the end now here we did it year by year because it was easy we only had three years but let's say if I asked you to calculate okay the total interest for all three years so in this case we have 50 plus 50 plus 50 so we have a total of $100 accumulated okay so like I said if you don't want to do it year by year or if you have a lot of years uh, we can use a shortcut using this formula right here to calculate the total interest which is basically the interest per period because you have the principal and the interest rate these two come from the formula uh, above it okay and you just multiply it times the number of periods because remember it's the same interest it just gets repeated n number of periods so here if you want to know the total interest total interest you would just do the principal times the interest rate times n periods which is going to be equal to 1000 times 0 0.05 times 3 which gives you 100 and 50 the same that you have under the interest column when you add all three uh, 
uh, interest uh, amounts in the three years. Now, continuing with the shortcut, if you want to know the overall amount, well, the total due will be equal to the principal plus the interest. And so we said that the principal is 1,000 plus the interest, which is a 150, giving you the 1,150 that we said was paid at the end of the third year. Oh, let me make this uh, yellow. Now, where is this coming from? the last formula. How do you know that the total due is the principal plus the interest? Okay, so if you go back to the very beginning, okay, we have this formula right here. The interest in terms of money is equal to the end amount minus the original amount. And that's exactly what we have here. So in this case, our total due, and I'm going to put this in a different color, okay, the total due would be what? the end amount. The principal is the original amount plus the interest. Kay. So this formula right here comes from slide um, or section 1.3. Okay, So we j in this case you are just solving for the end amount.